And then, of course, our third D-bag of the day, someone who took shots at our little radio station here Rebecca, and, by extension, Rebecca, us Rebecca. and the people who listen to us. That's not good. It's a, you know, it's a, he was disparaging out in public. Wow. You know, he's, uh, he's in, last I heard, he was an intern at some station. You, the yeah. guy that was in well, the room with us made him. You know, I mean, what you, I mean, isn't it enough that you inherit a great show? You, then you got to start ripping? You didn't, they, you you didn't start do ripping? anything to deserve. No. Yeah, I mean, isn't it enough? How about being professional? And if you don't have anything nice to say, <laughs> don't say anything uh, at Someone all. said he's a smug little uh, you know, fella. Very professional. He's a cocky little fella. <laughs> I, well, well, I met him one time. He wasn't just, very kind. Corky doesn't, Cave doesn't really say anything nice well, about anybody. He he loves to say nice things about himself. Corky? Corky. He's a big fan of himself. Oh, he's pretty high on himself. Now, what's the nickname you gave him? Was it Sludge or Slush? I slush. I don't even Something know. like that? I slush? Remember. I don't even remember. I mean, Slushy. It's just, Slushy? I, if, I, if I actually thought about it and it occurred to me what I named him, I, I could remember. Yeah. I've had, yeah. That's what it was. Oh, that's uh, that's. Oh, that's. By the way, that's the other thing too. Vomit. He's like a little vomit chunk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's your three D bag contestants. <laughs> Richie Incognito. Well, he started it. I, I mean, why did but we would he go fine. up in public? He's just talking and squawking, which is all he does. Ben Wallace and Vomit Chunk. Those are your three <laughs> options. <laughs> yep. Zoopy, you first. Ah, uh, it's funny. Well, I'll give it to Sludge. He's <laughs> number one. Number two. Yeah, they're so close. I mean, it's so close. I mean, geez. Uh, my gosh, I mean, Corky and, uh, and Richie Incognito are almost duplicates. I'll give, I'll give, you know, Richie is, he's probably in there number two. I, it, it, it's going to get worse anyway. I, I, it's going to get worse. But, uh, Ben Wallace is one of my favorite guys when we played with Detroit. I liked him a lot. Yeah. He was good with the yeah. Chicago Bulls as he well. He so was. he's your third? He was, I, what, he's like six, eight, six, nine, but playing center and yeah. just a dominant defensive a monster. beast. He's a monster. God. He was a monster, but hit and run. I mean, you'd think that someone that hit and run and did some jail time would certainly be D-bag of the day, but no. Not when you have two other big D-bags. Oh. Rebecca. Rebecca. All right, I'll go again. Um, not again. I'll go next. How about this? I'm going to say uh, Wallace will be my third D-day because really, I, uh, you know, you just, don't, you just don't it's do tough. it. Yeah, it's tough to think about and rate the, the douchebaggery. <laughs> Of these people it's sometimes. Hard. It's hard. Richie Incognito, I feel like, builds up over and over and over again. It's not just like this time, because he really did nothing wrong last night, just tweeting stuff. He's tweeting, and he, he's but back it, up, it's going to get worse. But it, it just builds on top of each other what he did, first of all, in the locker room, behind closed doors, and to Jonathan Martin, and then to the, the Asian trainer that they had on the Miami Dolphins team, what he did to his Ferrari what he does to everybody on an everyday basis, the guy's just a complete douchebag. He is. He's the complete douchebag. But the biggest douchebag of all douchebags would be a guy that, I mean, we've never said anything bad about. We've never disparaged Nothing. him in any way. Nothing. No, he had plenty of ammo. Uh, uh, plenty of ammo. I'm personally not a fan of him. Met him in real life. Smug little bastard. Uh, not a fan of his on-air broadcast. He may not like what I do either. That's fine. I, I mean, never met the little vomit but, chunk. I, but I've never said anything bad or disparaging about him or his station or the pe or the fine people that listen to his show. That used to be Mike's show anyway. Um, and he did nothing to deserve it. So my douchebag of the day would be Corky. Rebecca. He's been talking out in public, I've been told. I, I heard from you both. That's yeah. that's what it, that's what this is all about. And terrible things. Just ripping just, it. Just gripping it and ripping it. I think it's just too bad. It's a shame. Well, and not necessarily just, about us, but the people that listen to the station. It just it, it just rests. He doesn't it realize it no might sense. be some of the same people that uh, of course it listen is. to him when he's interning. Uh, of course it is. Now my three. It's amazing. I'm gonna I am gonna go with uh, uh, Corky first, Cave second, and Slush third. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a clean sweep. <laughs> Corky Cave and I see what you did. And there. Slush. Yeah. I like that. That's where we're going. I don't know one. why. I don't know why people have to be that way. No. I mean, I haven't said anything at all. I'll just, no be, I'll just be grateful for what you have. You've been given a gift, whether it's him or it's us or anybody. We get to talk about sports on and the radio. And by the way, yeah. the gift is not your talent, so there's no confusion. No. We get to talk about sports on the radio. We get to come in and, and first cool. of all, just it's talk fun. about what we love it's to fun. watch and play and and decipher this player, that player, this coach, that coach, the brackets, the playoffs. I mean, come on. I can't believe There's it. really no need to disparage one another. I didn't say anything. I, I mean, I, I was, know you have. I was the one laid off. I mean, and you know what? Hey. I would not disparage, uh, you know, the station. And there's, there are good people there. You've, you know, I, yeah, I love your bit you do about Common. Oh, geez. He's a good guy. I, love Dan, him. I like Dan. I, love I mean, Dan I like Barrero. all those guys I love there. Dan 
I do. And, I, and Dan Cole, I came up in the business with Dan Cole. I love He's him. He's a good guy. To death. I love him, man. I really do. I got a lot of people over there I'm very close to. But it's just a shame. It's not about I that. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just, I, I, I heard about this, and I thought, oh, man. So he opened up a can of worms. You never played. His takes are really good bad takes. They're really good bad takes. <laughs> Whatever that means. Whatever that means. But he's also the D-bag of the day, so good for him. Congratulations. Way to, way to load, way to load the own, your own gun. D-bag, D-bop, D-bag, D-bop, get, get what you got coming. D-bag, and by the way, if you're out there listening and he's still, oh, Habeka, Habeka. He's still shooting his mouth off, let us know. 651-989-9105 is the number. 651-989-9105. You can shoot it off all you want, but we may hear about it. We may not. Paybacks are a bitch. But when we do, you'll hear about it, too. A little vomit <laughs> chunk. Peace staying on the pant leg of life. I'm telling you. Bug on the windshield. I'm telling you, give them an inch, they want a mile. Oh, they take a mile. No, they take a mile. Oh, yeah. yeah. And stab, 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 oh, stab, That's his stab. show. You're back. Yeah, it's his show. He put a hell of a show together. Yeah. He started that from scratch, yeah. too, didn't he? Yeah, he did. From a 0.0 share all the way to where it is yeah. now. I'm happy for him. What a talented little that guy he sure is. is. He sure is. Man. You know, I have one of my favorites. Not enough with the uh, RD bag. We're coming up next with uh, the Ticket Sports Movie Moment of the Day. Ben didn't like the one I thought of.